Hey guys, what's going on? Steve, I'm back again, and today I'm bringing you yet another episode of the Tottenham career mode. It's going really well so far. In this episode, we're playing 14th place Leicester City, which is actually our game in hand. And in the other game of today's episode, we're playing Manchester United, the massive game which if we potentially could win both games in today's episode, we will go second in the Premier League, which is massive for Tottenham. And what that also means is we will be just under halfway done of the season already. It's going so quickly. Um, and yeah, also what I'll be doing is I'll be ending this episode uh, at the start of the January transfer window. So if, any, if anyone's keeping up with the series, if anyone is watching this, uh, leave comments down below on who you think I should buy, uh, who you think I should maybe loan in, if I should sell anyone. Just leave all your um, <coughs> suggestions in the comments down below and then we'll see what happens from there. But without further ado, let's get into the game against Leicester City. Let's see if we can pick up a big three points with our game in hand. Let's go. This stage, oh, uh, blood the hell is snowing. It's, it's decent. It's decent yeah. See, I didn't realise that, otherwise I would have changed the colour of the ball, but it's alright. <coughs> We just kicked off. I don't know how this is going to affect me. I haven't played in the snow on FIFA in quite a while. Hopefully everyone... Oh my goodness. Oh god, they almost scored straight away. What a save by Lloris. Jesus Christ. <coughs> We've got really lucky so far. <coughs> and I'm sorry I keep clearing my, my throat. I don't know what's going on. <coughs> can't seem to get whatever's in there out but they're putting me under a lot of pressure in the starting moments of this game I'm not liking how they're playing at the minute they won themselves another corner we're under the cosh lads winners go on Christian fucking snow it's making oh he's won it back go go you've got the legs on more you've got the legs on more Yes, that's it. Oh my God. How have you not finished that? You was one-on-one -on -one with Schwarzer. Why are you putting it on the floor? Give it a little bit of lift. He would never have saved it. All right, Lamella. Tackle. Oh, come on, Serge. Go. Serge, go. Delat. Oh my God. Yes, here you go. Thank God he's so quick off his line. He's got the ball back. He's in tons of room. Whip it. Where is Christian Benteke? I mean, he's the player that you want to head the ball. I mean, Ericsson's all right, but I mean, he's got nothing on Benteke, has he, really? Let's be honest. Right, let's get this out. Cambiasso's... Oh, my goodness. We're under the cosh, lads. No. Oh, my God. He let it go through his legs. Why? But that's the half there. Jesus Christ. I wouldn't be surprised if we was getting absolutely bummed. It's been very even in the shots department, but in possession we've been absolutely dominated. I don't know what I can do to change this. Is there anyone that I can bring on that might... I mean, not really. I could... I'm going to bring on Paulinho for Kovacic. I'm going to leave the NG substitution till later on in the game but the we've made a tactical the sub into the half, we're into the second half now hopefully that substitution can do us a lot of a lot of good well done Serge he's offside then he? oh no Memphis isn't though oh my goodness Memphis to pay is fucking ridiculous he wasn't the player I was supposed to cross to but I'm fucking happy he got to the end of that cross Look at that run. You can see in the top right of your screen. Jesus Christ. What a run. He was able to get a free header and just slots it into the goal. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, the substitution worked even though he didn't have anything to do with the goal. Come on, no, no, no. Oh my God, they're playing it around the edge of my box so well. I'm having a really hard time keeping up with their play. Oh my god, I've fucked up. I've fucked up. Oh yes, for Tongan. Thank you for not, in, not letting that error cost me dearly. Go on. 
Go on, Rose, touch it around him. That's nice. Whipping a good cross. Christian, that's got to be. Oh, my days. Serge has picked it up, though. Whipping another good cross. Ericsson's not your guy. Although, fucking hell, prove me wrong, why don't you? Christian Ericsson has scored an actual header against the defender. Oh, my God. Who is he up against there? Let's have a look. He beat two players. It looks like De Latin Moore. He beat two defenders to a header. Sick. All right, boys. We're winning 2-0. Against, oh my god, Benteke, go, 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 Benteke, go, Benteke, go, Benteke. Christian Benteke has made it three. Oh my god, the quick fire double. What a mistake by the Leicester defence. It's gone horribly wrong for them. Three goals in 20 minutes. And if you miss that, you look a little bit foolish, but. I don't know who that was running with Benteke, but he just could not handle his pace and power. Able to just slot it past Schwarzer with no problem whatsoever. We're 3-0 up. What the fuck? Come on, Danny. Come on, Danny. That's oh, a good driving cross. Nugent's played it off to the wing well to Upson. Nugent's got it back. Pulls it back to Upson. Oh, my God. Hugo Lloris. Ah, what's going on? Fucking hell. The ball fucking slid across the face of my goal and no one done anything about it. It's done. It's 4-0. It's 4 0. It's so easy. Clinton and G. Him up front is just so easy. You just play him behind the defence and he's got the pace just to ruin everyone. And he's got the finishing prowess. Go on, Clinton. Can we make it five, though? We might be able to make it five. Clinton. Ah. Unlucky there. They've injured Clinton. No. What have you done? You evil sons of bitches. <laughs> but it's alright. There's the 90 minutes, boys. We've won the game 4-0. Absolutely crazy stuff after that first half. And as you can see, we brought it back. It was still very even in the shots department. We was just a little bit more clinical. But I did bring it back a lot in the um, possession stats. Alright, boys. Here we go. The bit, one of the biggest games of the season so far against Manchester United. We're at home at the White Hart Lane. I've made. I've. Uh, there's a little bit of a difference in the team. Um, I've had to make a couple of changes because of fitness reasons. So we've got Davis instead of Rose, Paulinho instead of Dembele, Townsend instead of Eric, uh, Eric Lamella, and I think that's all the changes. Um, that I could really, that I thought would be, would make a good change, but um, yeah, that's pretty much why I had to change it was because of fitness reasons. Alright, this is bad. This is bad. Oh Jesus Christ! Again, just like in the Leicester game, we're under the cosh straight away. Hopefully we can turn it around like we did with uh, Leicester and win 4-0. Wouldn't that be good? And the cross is in. Oh, that's a good cross. Oh, we're getting really lucky. So it's all good. Wow, referee. I have a word. If I remember correctly from the previous episodes, we've got a bit of a free kick taker in Memphis to pay. With 90 free kick. Oh, 90 power and 91 free kick. So... 30 yards out. We might be able to do a little bit of damage here. Oh, it was on target. It was just a little bit too far to the right than what I wanted. Easy save for Valdez. Southampton are beating Chelsea. This could be my time. There's a good shot. Blocked well by Valdez. Ah, he's offside. Motherfucker. That would have been a perfect little move there. This is bad. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank God Di Maria is shit. <laughs> Thank God he ain't got his shooting boots on today. But we go into the half-time. Nil-nil. And it looks pretty much exactly the same as the Leicester game. It's pretty much the same on the shooting stats. But they're dominating me on possession. So hopefully we can go out in the second half and beat them 4-0. That would be nice. Oh, why did I do that? Such a, such a, 
Uh, I can't speak. It was such the wrong ball. Luckily, he's offside. And that's a goal. That's a goal. He's offside, it's fine. Ruled out here. But Jesus, we need to sort ourselves out, boys. Quite rightly, the linesman flagged up. Can't be having that. Go on, Christian. Go on, go on. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Oh, what's he done? He sliced the fucking air. Just a touch. Enough to take it up. There isn't an imaginary ball. If there was, that would have been a goal. Yes. He's past Ron Vlaar. Come on. This is your time. This is your time. For it looked as though he assumed he must score and he just lost his eh? concentration. Eh? What? What? <laughs> Sorry? What? How the, How do you do that? How do you do that? He must have properly scoop footed that ball. Go Clinton. Go Clinton. Go Clinton. Go Clinton. Oh Clinton. Clinton. It's got to be. It's... Oh my God! He missed! He done every... He done all of the hard stuff. But then missed. How much did he miss by? Fuck! Alright, it's pretty... Yeah, there you go. It's full time. To be honest, I'll take a 0-0 draw against United. They're a decent... Well, they're a very good side. But I can't help feeling that we should have won that game. Clinton and G had some of the best chances in that game. But just nothing could come from it. Quite disappointing. So... We're staying, I think it's five points behind them in the league now. Um, in summary of today, it's been decent. The 4 0 will against Leicester was very good. The 0 0 draw against Manchester United, I'll take that as a decent result. So, yeah, basically, the next couple of episodes will be a uh, transfer win. So, if there's any players that you would like to see or would you would like to see leave the club, obviously comment down below. I'll see what people say. If there's any good suggestions, I might actually go for it. But for now, thanks for watching. If you liked the episode, leave it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the episode, leave it a thumbs down and tell me why in the comments. Try and help me improve my content. And if you want to keep up with the series, if you've been watching so far, then subscribe. I do uh, upload daily, so you'll always have daily content from me. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and peace.